Hey, come on in. I'll teach you how to steam clean carpet like a pro. The first thing you need to do is actually get customers. You could try to start your own brand from scratch or just join Mr. Steam and you can use my brand. You're going to need a Google profile like this, ideally with some reviews, and then a beautiful website, something like we've made for our Mr. Steam franchisees. Being part of the Mr. Steam brand isn't just magic. You're still going to have to take those branding elements and make sure your vehicle looks like a work vehicle and you look dressed up appropriately for a carpet cleaning professional. Key items for communicating that you're a true professional include a written invoice, business cards, indoor and outdoor shoes, a uniform with stitching on it, as opposed to just kind of like a sticker. Any type of merch and equipment labeled with the Mr. Steam logo is a good idea. And it's always good to have a debit machine. You also get tips, so that's another good reason to carry that. So when you arrive at the customer's home, it's always a good idea to show up with a written invoice that matches the booking from your website. In this case, it's my wife, so she's probably being pretty honest, but sometimes people leave things off to try to see if they can get them for free, or it could just be an honest mistake. Hey, it's Bryce here from Mr. Steam. I'm here to clean your carpets. So when you first arrive, if you have the written invoice with your business card, you look very professional. Also, when you switch into your indoor shoes, it shows a lot of respect for the customer's home. You can go the extra mile and put down a drop cloth so when you bring in your equipment, the customer knows you're not scratching their floor. If you're using a truck mount, you'll be carrying hoses throughout their home. So it's important to have corner guards like this so the hoses go against the corner guards and don't damage the drywall or the baseboard of the home. Okay, I can see the staircase that was booked for $69. It's also supposed to be a hallway. Ding, ding, ding. And three rooms. One, two, three. On my online booking for the notes to the technician spot, it said that there was some mess from a newborn baby. Very, very exciting. Well, thankfully I have the products to deal with just that. Over the years I've bought so many products, I've wasted thousands of dollars testing different ones, only to arrive on using Inferno Degreaser as my spot stain remover and E-Steam Attack as my general pre-spray. Plus it's good for enzyme-based stuff, so like um, pet damage, feces, anything biological. Um, I actually used to make my own products. Turns out these are better. I'm not sponsored by them. They are actually just the best. I just want to be truthful with my testing and this is what I found. I have them pre-mixed. I put Inferno in Heavy Duty and E-Steam Attack in this enzyme sprayer. So I have both readily available to me. If you're ever wondering about how to mix stuff like dilution ratios and stuff, just find the ratio on the label and then go to ChatGPT and ask it a question. Hey ChatGPT. Don't go into the details, just tell me the answer straight up. I want to make 6 liters of a diluted mix. It has to be diluted 1 to 32, that's the ratio. 1 being the product, 32 being the water. Tell me how much product I need to put in and how much water. Sure thing, you need about 0 0.18 liters of product and 5.82 liters of water. Just for my viewers here, can you convert it to milliliters, the product? Absolutely, you'll need about 180. 180, well this cup is 120, so I'm gonna fill it up all the way and then halfway again, boom, I'm done. Personally, I like to pre-spray the entire carpet before I bring my equipment in because there's nothing in my way. Once I bring in all my equipment, I'm going to be dancing over hoses, tools, etc. So it's good to get this pre-spray done early. Then it has some dwell time as well, which will help with stain removal. This is what all of my gear looks like when it's set up. I have a 1.5 inch carpet wand, high pressure solution hose, 1.5 inch vacuum hose, E-Steam heater mate, OREC orbiter, Ninja 200D, and then you'll notice something unique about my setup. The water line isn't actually going into the Ninja. I've made an upgrade so I don't have to bucket water into the machine. I just use the machine to empty wastewater into the customer's toilet. 
So let's follow that solution hose all the way to the truck. Remember to switch into your outdoor shoes. Okay, you'll see that this solution line actually runs into my truck. And I have an extension cord which powers a pump inside of the truck. This way I can save a lot of time when I'm working because I don't have to bucket water into my machine. And it also gives it that truck mounted vibe. You might decide to buy a gas powered truck mount like a Clean Coat 47, but honestly in my locale, I'm scared that gas powered truck mounts are gonna be outlawed eventually because you're effectively idling your vehicle for hours at a time. It's possible. Another reason is this is more economical and I know how to fix every single part on my setup so I'll never be stuck waiting for techs to repair my truck mount, resulting in lost income. You'll have to decide what works best for your business. Now let's get to the cleaning. So it looks pretty good, but what I like to do is strap on these knee pads, get your detail tool, get right on your knees, and make sure everything right up against the baseboard is clean perfectly, because on the carpet wand, there is a little bit of space here, right here. So you can't get quite against the baseboard, whereas it's a little bit easier with this detailer tool. And sometimes they even take the vacuum hose right off the wand and suck up right against the baseboards. Okay, a couple of quick notes. If you are moving furniture, make sure you cut a little piece of tin foil, stick it to the leg before you put it back on the wet carpet. Otherwise, the stain from the wood can stain the carpet. Also, some people are gonna comment and say I should be putting a rinse chemical in my clean water tank to neutralize the pH of the carpet. I did a video on this and it's actually a myth, but just wanna add that as a disclaimer. Quick tip if your machine has a heater, so, if you have a heater on your machine, you need to plug the two plugs into two completely different circuits. So for example, all three bedroom plugs. So if you plugged your heater into a bedroom plug and the extractor into a bedroom plug, it would be over 50 amps, so this fuse would go. So if the power goes out while you're working, just come down to the basement, flip the fuse back over, and then make sure your plugs are plugged into separate circuits. Typically the fuse box will say where all the circuits are routed to and stuff. Um, but rule of thumb, just plug your heater in far away from where your extractor is plugged in. So here's a little pro tip. Sometimes shadows look like they're stains, but you can see this light bulb's hitting the top of this and creating this shadow. So there isn't actually a stain there, it's just a shadow from the light. Even still, you are gonna get some discoloration over time. Carpet's supposed to last 10 to 15 years, then it should be replaced. I know this carpet's over 20 years old, so even when it's clean, you know, it might be a little bit of darkness in the traffic areas. That's just normal, like an old white shirt doesn't stay white forever. Fiber does break down over time. All right, let's see what we pulled out of this carpet. If the customer's around, it's always a good idea to show them this, to let them know how dirty their carpet was, and to try to clean their carpet on a regular basis, like maybe every year or so is probably reasonable.
Yeah. Usually you can't get it all out just by using this, so you gotta tilt it into a bucket to get the rest of it. Always remember to clean up the toilet area after. It's super disrespectful if you leave it dirty. Hey, thanks for using my service today. So it comes at 275 plus tax. I just tap here. And here's my loyalty card. It gives you 10% off for all future bookings and you can share it with your friends. Also, if you don't mind, you'll get a review link. Please review me on Google.